loosen the four thumb nuts and remove the frame. Place a piece of filter paper rough side up on the filter holder. Next, install the TE5035 adapter plate. Tighten the four thumb nuts down. Make sure the washers are on top of the adapter plate. Attach and tighten the high volume calibrator onto the adapter plate. Turn the calibrator on by pressing the center button. Connect the male VFC fitting to the shelter side port. Connect the tubing to the manometer. We are using a digital manometer in our example. Plug the motor straight into line power. Record the temperature and pressure from the calibrator. Record the Q ambient reading from the calibrator and record the inches of water from the manometer. Go to www.tish-env.com, hover over Calibration, and click on Calibration Worksheets. Select X Calibrator VFC Systems with G-Factor Calibration Worksheet. After the worksheet opens in Excel, Enter the site and calibration information. Enter the location, date, and the name of the technician. Next, enter the serial number of the VFC device, along with the G-Factor. Then enter the ambient conditions from the calibrator. Scroll down to calibration information and enter the Q ambient CFM, then enter the sampler inches of water from the manometer. In our example, the cubic meters a minute is 1.223 and our percent of difference is 0.82, which is a good calibration. Anything plus or minus 4% of difference is a bad calibration.
the user will need to enter some information to calculate the total air volume from the sample. Before a scheduled sample starts, the user will need to take a clean filter reading using the manometer and the male tube fitting on the side port of the shelter. Turn the motor on and record the inches of water from the manometer. After the sample is completed, the user will need to take a dirty filter reading. Record the dirty filter reading, the average temperature, average barometric pressure, and the total runtime in hours from the sample. After those are entered, the user will get the calculated flow rate in cubic meters a minute and the total flow in cubic meters. Unplug the motor and reconnect the cord to the ETI and timer cord. Close the shelter door. Remove the manometer and tubing. Turn the calibrator off. Loosen and remove the calibrator from the adapter plate. Loosen the four thumb nuts and remove the adapter plate. Place a clean piece of filter paper onto the filter holder, rough side up. Replace the frame and tighten down the four thumb nuts. Make sure the washers are on top of the frame.